What's going on, family? It's your favorite cousin, Cool Rich, back in this mug, back again with another fragrance review. And as you can see, your man's got on that good old Ralph Lauren. Now, why do I got on the Ralph Lauren? Because Ralph Lauren Jr. You say that I'm just playing. Uh, for the most part, I actually love rocking Ralph Lauren because they have high quality uh, for clothes, fragrances, and more. Most people don't really care for their fragrances like that. I mean, I, that's more of what you consider to be high quality or not, or if you just don't really care for the brand. I actually think that they have a great fragrance brand on my side, and also their clothes are high quality made because I still have polos from 10 years ago, almost 15 years ago, that still look new right now, or at least they still hold up very well. So, and actually I've seen a lot of other people that have vintage polo clothes from the 90s and the 80s, and they still look as good as they do for the ones that are being made now so that just is more of a testament to their quality and that's why i've always liked them um, i more so got into them around like 2010 or well, 2010 no 2009 the funny thing is and i'm gonna see if i can actually find it because one of the um one of my uh memories you know how facebook has their facebook memories and stuff like that and i have put like yeah i'm gonna be rocking uspa uh ralph lord america living all that stuff like that and my boy thrash shout out to thrizzy he was sitting up there just going in on me like bro stop wearing that off-brand polo stuff just red around floor and stuff like that i'm like bro uspa been around since 1890 but for the most part he wasn't wrong about saying like you know Ralph Lauren pretty much cornered the market because whenever you think of polo, you think more brand recognition wise, Ralph Lauren. You don't think of USPA, you don't think of Beverly Hills Polo, you don't think of any of those brands, right? You automatically think about Ralph Lauren. So that's a testament to their marketing and getting brand recognition for that specific type of terminology. Same thing if you were to talk about um, electronic control devices like a taser. People, if you say taser, they'll know exactly what you're talking about, but it's actually called an electronic control device, but because taser is such a uh, such a name, such a brand name, they automatically think that if you're talking about electronic control device, you're talking about a taser. Same thing when you're talking about a polo. You're talking about a polo button up, or you're just talking about a polo in general, they automatically don't think that you're talking about Ralph Moore. So that's the thought. And with this, I thought that this was one of the better quality fragrances that you will want to actually have in your state. So I wanted to make sure that I went through a full course review of giving you everything that you needed when it came to my favorite Ralph Lauren colognes that I have right now. And I give this right now the exception because I do plan to get like Ralph Lauren purple label and uh, this other Ralph Lauren gold a gold twist and stuff like that or gold blend that's what it is i plan to get those in my repertoire and i've heard amazing thing about that i've heard that the ralph lauren purple label smells like bond number nine bleaker street i'm not really too sure about that because i did test it out and i, I don't know if i got that from it but i don't know so we'll test out those theories but first one we'll get into let's go ahead and tap into the ralph lauren fragrances my top three ralph lauren fragrances that i got in my stash right now Sit back, relax, and let's get. All right, so the first fragrance that we gonna tap into, oh, fuck, I'm sitting up here looking at the screens. First fragrance we gonna tap into is the one that's a little bit more smooth, like it's heavy on confidence. It's heavy on masculinity. It is Polo Red Parfum. Now the top notes off of that is the, you got the grapefruit. You also got some cranberry. You got some Italian lemon. And you know, a bit of zesty and refreshing opening. Then we also got some red saffron and some clear eight and well, some sage. And also that good lavender. Uh, but for the most part, it's just like a real smooth very, very nice masculine fragrance. None that's too overzealous. Matter of fact, it leaves a good sillage. It's like, it's like one of those nice, good, 
conversation starters, something that you could have when have one, like let's say if you're meeting somebody for coffee and donuts or anything like that, you got a good business meeting. Um, it's, it's a real, real warm type of fragrance, so you'll smell that cedar wood in there. It, it's it, it's really nice. Like it has a good refreshing opening. Like so got that nice good citrus opening initially but then it has that nice woody dry down um, and that's what makes it a lot more prevalent like the sillage on it is amazing but it's just really 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 cool uh, I will say that it's very good for date nights also good for like if you're trying to meet for brunch trying to meet for breakfast anything like that this is really a good uh, signature scent to be honest with you you could actually have it as a signature scent but you don't want to go too heavy on the sprays because it's actually good high quality like it actually smells of high quality because some people have had this this negative standpoint with Ralph Warren of saying like their stuff smells very generic right opposed to that it actually for me it doesn't for me I think it actually smells very high in quality especially this one because it's the Parfum. Parfum, we already know, like we went through this in the last couple of videos, but you got EDT, EDP, Parfum, stuff like that. But Cologne is like the, the lower end stuff like that where you, you're you not getting as much juice. That one gives you a lot of juice where you're going to get a lot of that good, like pure oil. And it's it, it hits, it bangs. So you're going to win. And that's what I want you to understand when it comes to Ralph Lauren fragrances people have this thought that you're not going to get the bang for your buck you will you will i'm telling you right now as your favorite cousin you actually gonna get what you pay for actually and if you sign up and be a part of their clubs um you'll probably get a good discount so i would say you definitely want to sign up and be a part of their memberships if you can or if you're in that local area where you got a nice uh you know outlet mall around you or anything like that you got a ralph Lauren outlet that would be a great place for you to start. So, again, Ralph Lauren, Red, Parfum. One of the better fragrances that I've seen out and about. One of the ones that I would say that I would always wear because it is it, it just exudes confidence, bro. Like, this exudes confidence, and that's what you want. You want something that exudes something that you have already. You do not... You make the fragrance. Don't make the fragrance make you. So... If you are already confident, this is going to be a booster. If you're not confident, this is going to help your confidence. So, like, this is definitely something. It's just a, it's, it's a helper. It's a win. So, moving on to the next one is a smooth, nice, fresh one, especially for the springtime, spring and summertime. This one is Ralph Lauren Blue. And I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this one is the EDT, right? So, this one is a fresh, like, invigorating fragrance. You got some good mandarin in here, some good mandarin orange, uh, some cucumber, you know, some basil, some sage, geranium. So we got some good sophisticated notes. Um, it got some musk and also some suede in here. So you can definitely smell that when you end up putting your nose on it. Man. So, you know, we got our compliment tier factor, right? We got hard pass. We got compliment pass and then we also got the phone number pass this one phone number pass this one compliment pass now why would i say that that one is a compliment pass because that one is a smooth one but it can smell like other fragrances whenever you have something that can smell very similar to other fragrances you're going to put that more in the compliment pass because you'll still get the you'll still get the capture um, you'll still get the the initial capture of that person that may walk by or anything like that but is it going to be something that they haven't smelled before the answer to that is not going to be uh, in your favor so because of that you more so want to look at it and be like all right i'm going to wear this but i might smell like somebody else somebody may end up saying that i smell good because of how it works on my skin and everything like that so it's a hit or miss so that's why i'm saying like you'll get a compliment off of it but don't you may not want to look for the compliment just being straightforward with you but it's a it's it's, it's a good good springtime fragrance i wouldn't talk against it it's very aquatic um so if you out near the beach or anything like that oh this is a winner and i'm a beach baby i grew up in on the bc i grew up in muskegon uh so that's the biggest 
beach city or was the biggest city on the western coast of Michigan um, that hits that actually touches the lake so man I'm telling you right now it's one of the better better fragrances that you can have especially when you're out on the beach and you got that good wind that listen listen you don't understand it you don't understand it if you're not a beach kid but the next one let's get into this next fragrance because it's one of my favorites and it just came out not too long ago but oh man I don't know man this one when it came out I was happy about it and this one you don't understand when you see it Ralph Lauren Ralph's Club man you talking about a sophisticated fragrance that just embodies the spirit of the modern man dog this mug is fire like you got this fresh zesty opening you got that sage geranium for that masculinity you got one of my favorite notes in here patchouli oh my god y'all know i love patchouli That lavender, that patchouli, boy, it's disrespectfully good. This one right here, I'm telling you right now, the CIs and the longevity on this one, baby, baby, I'm telling you right now, it's like that. It's there and it's ready for you. This mug right here is going to give you that longevity. This one right here is going to give you that CIs. This one right here is going to give you six to eight plus hours of good, good, smell good time you will get compliments off of this you will smell like one of one for the most part because i'm be honest rough warren has came out with more uh fragrances that smell like this for real i mean you got polo black and stuff like that which has that good lavender in it and stuff but it's not that just being honest with you and i know double black is not touching that um that one is the edp I need to get the parfums next because I want to actually smell that one and see on how that hits too because I'm, I can guarantee that one is also fire. But I actually got that one because it came with the small, um, the small travel size and I got it for a good price. I found it at Nordstrom. See, this is the type of, you got to find those deals. I found it at Nordstrom's for $44, $45. So you're not usually getting that on that type of steel. You know what I'm saying? You're usually gonna have to pay like close to 100 over 110, stuff like that. Got that boy for 45 bucks. Good, good price. So yeah, man, your man's was out here getting them good deals with this. And I got a lot of compliments when I wore this. I had on, I had it on when I had on a suit. Um, I had to meet with the city. And as soon, the property development that I'm doing, as soon as I walk in the door, first thing I get oh my god you smell good thank you thank you thank you thank you like I'm just telling you man this is one thing when you get those compliments this is another thing we get the compliments from like you know city officials state officials stuff like that hey man that leaves a lasting impression but like I was talking about before this one right here this Ralph Lauren Ralph's Club is an amazing fragrance Lavender, patchouli, everything, you know, the whole nine yards is uh, a big favorite of mine because I, if you know my channel or anything like that, I love patchouli, right? So I love patchouli, I love lavender, I love all of the extra stuff, the cedar wood and things like that, but, and then also love this top, this top is super cool. But this is Ralph Lauren Oude Parfum from Ralph's Club. Uh, this mug is fire. So those are my top three Ralph Lauren fragrances. That I feel that, you know, if you had them in your collection, you would not be disappointed, especially with the longevity, the CIs, the, the quality that you'll be intaking with that. And more so just trying to get this negative stigma off of Ralph Lauren products because Ralph Lauren does create some great products, uh, you know, as far as clothing, accessories, also, you know, shoes, things like that. But one of their main things that they do well is fragrances. And I know that they get a bad rap for it. So I just wanted to let it be known that this these three are my favorite ones at the current moment. I do give myself the room to be able to update this list once I get the uh, the the blue the gold blend and also the purple label and things like that. And I might actually try to get the double black. I'm not much of a fan of the double black, but 
hey man, you know, just want to have that in the collection. I'm also going to do like the one, one through four. If you remember those mini sets and stuff like that, they did have the mini sets of the one through four, one, two, three, and fours, um, Ralph Lauren, Big Pony clones. So I'm gonna get those two. I'm gonna try to get as many or all of the male version of the clones that I can by Ralph Lauren. So that way I'll have the full collection. Um, that's one thing that I do like to do when it comes to fragrances. I like to try to get the full collection, but nevertheless, I definitely appreciate you for tapping in for another great video that we are putting together, you know, for the family, making sure that all my cousins out there, my relatives can do what they need to do and smell at their very best while they sitting up here using this mouthpiece. You feel me? You using gift of gab, baby. So you got to be able to smell good while you look good and while you're talking good. It all works in succinct with each other. You feel me? So, hey, I appreciate you. It's your host with the most fine of Nemo, a.k.a. you know I need more ammo. Or your favorite cousin, Cool Rich. You know, but I told you also you can follow me on Big Shot Ammo as well for, you know, any type of firearm reviews or anything like that. But this channel specifically is for fragrance and fashion reviews. So, you know, I like my Fs and this one stands for fragrances. So, hey, man, I appreciate y'all. I hope that y'all have a great Saturday. Peace and love.